Hey guys, I'm really excited about this video topic today because it just feels so relevant. Right now, a very big trend for the season is the wide leg pant. And I get asked at least several times a day how to make this look work. Because for a lot of you, the wide leg pant represents sort of a heaviness on the bottom half. And many of you are asking, how do you balance out the silhouette? How do you make it work in a way that is easy so those pants don't just end up hanging in your closet and you have no idea what to do with them. So I turned to Pinterest for some inspiration, one of my favorite things to do if you've been following me, and I came up with six looks that I absolutely love that I think are very wearable by a lot of different body types, and I'm going to show you the photo that got me excited, and actually one of them is not from Pinterest, so there will be a little surprise at the end, and then I will show you a similar look that I put together using some of my favorite items here in store at Chill Boutique and I'm gonna model them for you. So here we go. This one is such a simple look to replicate. You've got an easy wide leg pant with a fitted ribbed tank tucked in. You could also substitute a bodysuit. And if this is not enough coverage for you, we are going to look at fantastic options. Okay, you guys, so for our in-store version of this look, I started with one of my favorite wide leg pants. It's the linen pant here from Tease by Tina, and it's kind of a balloon style pant. These have been so popular. Every time we get the silhouette and we sell out very quickly, it's got the tie waist. You can actually remove this tie and substitute in a thicker belt if you would like. Very high waisted, very thick waistband, just so comfortable. What to do with it? Well, I, in this case, decided to take this new uh, ribbed tank here from Mono B. It's in pink, but it also comes in blue. I absolutely love this. And it's a very easy tuck. Now, for me, this works great with my body type. But for those of you who feel self conscious about your arms or maybe about your hips, just want a little bit more coverage, there is a way to adapt this that will work for you. And my solution here is the duster. Make sure it's a long, lean duster. I would stay away from things that hit at the hips or that are wider and flowy up top. Flowy over flowy can tend to make us feel just bigger all around. In my case, as you see in the video, I took the long, very long linen duster here from Tease by Tina. Long, straight, easy. And it's just a great outer layer and then it takes care of all of those things that we get self-conscious about. This second look is one that I use all of the time. You take a very easy wide leg pant, whether it's a chino or denim, and you pair a button down men's style shirt with it, tied at the waist, and it's very balanced on the top and the bottom, and it gives everybody the look of a slimmer waistline. Okay, gals, so for our in-store version of this look, I started with one of my favorite wide leg jeans. It's the cropped wide leg mid-rise jean here from Velvet Heart. It has some nice stretch in it. I love it. And then for the top portion, we have many tops to choose from many button-down shirts. You could just do an easy white button-down shirt. In this case, I wanted to add a little bit of specialness to it. So I took this new top here from Velvet Heart. It's a beautiful linen rayon blend, super, super soft. These are flying you guys and I tied it at the waist scrunched up the sleeves and just got a really easy look and for me this works really well if you're narrow in the shoulders this is definitely a way to create a look of a little bit of broadness in the shoulders to match the broadness on the bottom of the jeans but even if that's not an issue for you this does tend to work for most people I think you guys will really have fun and ease styling this type of look when it comes to a combination of elegance and ease and comfort, this is one of my favorites. You take a very lovely, silky, very high-waisted paper bag style wide leg pant, pop a bodysuit underneath, maybe pop some gorgeous jewelry on, and you've got a beautiful evening outlook or something you could pair with flip-flops. This was a really fun look to put together in store because we truly had the perfect pant for this look. So you guys, these pants here from Safem are absolutely gorgeous. They've got this kind of silky fabric. They're very high-waisted, wide leg. They're not too long. They're really ankle length, beautiful. And then attached to it, you can see here from the back, is this great big thick sash. And it goes around the waist. And I'm telling you, these are pants that I feel like work on women who are even 
themselves conscious about their waistline. That big thick sash really helps to cinch everything in. And then again, we also had the perfect bodysuit. It is this V-neck, not sure if you can tell, black is a little hard to see on video, but it's a V-neck um, uh, ribbed bodysuit, long sleeve, but nice thin fabric. You can even wear this in summer and scrunch up the sleeves. And I paired it with a pant and bam, that's it. It's easy. Pop some really sparkly, fabulous jewelry on and you've got a great and super comfortable look for an evening out. Here we go again with total ease. Any wide leg pant will do here, whether it is colorful denim, a chino, or cotton. And then you pop a white or any type of graphic tee underneath or tank, put a denim jacket on top, or even a shirt jacket. And very balanced, extremely easy to dress up or down. Very simple to replicate. So for an in-store example, I wanted to do a creative twist on this look. So I started with these pants from Pole. They are like a French terry wide leg pant. Love these with the drawstring waist, very billowy. Then I took a simple white tank like this one here from Boxercraft, really easy. And you know, frankly, you could just leave it at that, throw a great piece of jewelry over the top and you're done. But if you want a little more coverage or again, you need a way to kind of balance out the silhouette, not make the hips feel so wide. Take a denim jacket and throw it over the top or in our case we have such a great denim jacket alternative that just came in for summer here from Velvet Heart. I love this. It's a linen blend jacket. It is definitely a shirt jacket but without a doubt it is outerwear for summertime. Nice and lightweight, nice and neutral, just boxy enough. It's just below the waist and it is just a very very good way, very easy way to balance out the entire look. This one's all about laid back elegance. So you've got a billowy pant, preferably something with a drawstring or a belt. Then you take a button down men's style shirt. You half tuck this one and you can leave the back hanging out or maybe softly tucked under and you've got a very casual yet polished look. So you guys, this one we were able to replicate almost spot on with what we had here in the store. And it's another one of my favorite pants. Velvet Heart is really knocking it out of the park right now. So I love this olive cropped wide leg pant. It is a paper bag style pant with the tie waist, beautiful kind of mid to high rise pant. And then we take this beautiful bestseller tensile top here from Velvet Heart and we button it. We do a half tuck in the front the back of the shirt is one of the selling it features. It's really special. It's got this raw edge kind of fringe bottom so you can leave this out and it's got the little split. Now for my purposes in this video I decided to just tuck it under and leave it a little bit billowy but this is just such a simple look and I feel like it's very refined and polished and there is no emphasis at all on the heaviness or the wideness of the bottom half. Last but not least, in fact, certainly my favorite, one of our wonderful customers came in wearing this beautiful rendition of wide leg pants topped with a shift dress. This has always been one of my favorites. This is something I used to always see when I lived in Europe. And it's just beautiful, simple. And if it's just too much fabric flowing over the top for you, we're going to look at alternatives. We have a lot of different styling options in store when it comes to pairing a dress over pants. I also want to just throw this out there that this is great for those of you too, like myself, who maybe want to wear a shift dress and don't want to show their legs. In my case, like I said, I don't always feel like I have the tan to carry it off and I don't really want to and I'm self-conscious about my legs. Well, this is a great way to disguise that. So I started with this great wide leg white linen pant here from Tease by Tina. Another note on this too is that if you're wearing a white linen pant, um, a lot of you can get self-conscious about the fact that they may be a little bit transparent or see-through. Well, this is a great way to disguise that. So then I took this terrific dress here from Coco and Carmen. I love it. It's just a simple black tank shift dress with pockets. Great. Even has a little bit of texture in the fabric here. And I put the white linen pant underneath it. But on my frame it just kind of looked like a lot of fabric so I found that the solution and this may be perfect for a lot of you is to just take a belt and belt the dress and now you have a really put together really edgy look it's just a great way to do and my personal favorite way to do wide leg pants 
So guys, I hope that this has really inspired you to maybe step outside of your comfort zone and try this super fabulous, super elegant, and extremely comfortable silhouette. Don't be afraid of wide leg pants. Try some of these different options. See if you can work with what's already in your closet. But if you need help or you need some really important additions, then definitely pop in here to Chill Boutique and see me. I will help you. Alternatively, you can jump online to www.shopchillstyle.com and start looking at some of the possibilities on there to replicate these looks. And I really encourage you, as always, to jump onto Pinterest and to really try to make this your own. If you have questions, comments, ideas, don't hesitate to email me at lisa at shopchillstyle.com. And as always, you guys, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, Zero Waste Closet. You will get notifications when I come out with new videos and it really helps my channel. I love it. I am getting so many more of you jumping on board and following week to week. I love hearing your suggestions and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Ha, ha, ha.